If you have itchy feet but cannot travel as much as you want to, you can let the world in with the help of couch surfing. And basically, travel without leaving your flat. So, how did it all start for you? Well, I was first introduced to the idea of couch surfing back in 2007 when I was a student in the USA. I had a limited budget and my American friends advised me to try Hospitality Club, the first network for travelers. You can create profile, upload pictures, but most importantly, leave comments about people that you've hosted and who hosted you. The comments cannot be deleted, which is crucial for safety reasons. Through Hospitality Club, me and a friend of mine found a place to stay in Las Vegas, and I was really inspired by the idea. But later on, I joined Couchsurfing, because it was safer and more user-friendly. Couchsurfing is a volunteer-based hospitality network which connects travelers with the members of local communities who offer free accommodation and useful tips. Right now, Couchsurfing has grown to be the largest community for travelers with over 5 million members. So how long have you been on Couchsurfing and how many people have you hosted? I've been on couch surfing since 2011 and I've hosted up to 30 people from all over the world. And how was it? Of course you cannot click with every person you meet. Some people are just nice to spend some time with and with some people you want to be friends till the rest of your life. And meeting new people has always been a great source for inspiration and learning for me. Once I hosted a Belgian couple who were traveling from Poland to Mongolia on their big Suzuki motorbikes. They had thousands of stories to tell and we had an amazing time together. And they told me that they had fallen in love with Ukrainian countryside and even with our country roads. So, Alona, what has been your most amazing couchsurfing experience? Once I traveled to the UK and Ireland, and I stayed in three different cities, London, Edinburgh and Dublin. And in Edinburgh, my hosts were a Lithuanian couple who welcomed me with a beautiful Lithuanian song and let me stay in a room with a window facing the famous Edinburgh Castle. And in Dublin, my host drove me around on his motorbike and I hadn't ridden a motorbike for ages and he drove me to the beach with an amazing view of the Irish Sea. And what about London? Oh, in London I stayed with a friend of mine, but I met up with a couch surfer for a nice walking tour which ended up in a very interesting, authentic bar, which I would never have found myself. So even though I traveled alone, I was never alone thanks to couch surfing. I know what you mean. Every time I travel, even if I stay in a hotel or rent a flat, I try to meet up with the locals to discover places off the beaten track. One time in winter, when I wanted to run away from our cold and snowy Narnia, I picked Dubai as my holiday destination. And if it hadn't been for the couch surfers I met there, I would have spent most of the time on the beach or in Dubai Mall. But one of the couch surfers brought a bike for me to ride around the marina. We did paddling on the surfboards and even had a Christmas barbecue in a beach house. So, has it all been beer and Skittles for you? Um, not really. One time I had an unpleasant experience. The couch surfers I hosted uh, were not as neat and clean as I expected them to be. Uh, and after that situation, I have become quite picky about the people I host. Uh, I have started reading their profiles and references even more thoroughly, paying special attention to how much time they spend on reading my profile and discovering our shared in interests. Indeed, you don't have to accept all the requests. If you are busy or if you feel like your interests don't match, you have all the right to decline the request. By the way, uh, where can you meet with other couch surfers? As a member of the community, you can attend different events organized by couch surfers everywhere, from monthly meetings in your city or country to New Year's Eve celebration in Swiss mountains, samba classes in Rio, Riverside Walk in Taipei, or even National Couch Surfing Day in Bali. 
To crown it all, couchsurfing is a great way to practice your English or other languages. So if you decide to join couchsurfing, you can find a few useful tips on the website. So are you on couchsurfing yet?